It's hard when you have a child and you know that they're just not meeting the same milestones as your other child or as other children. By about four months, we knew that Aaron was not doing the same things as Roxy. The paediatrician flagged for us then cerebral palsy, but for us, when Aaron was diagnosed, I wasn't frightened. I was confident that he was going to be so well looked after. I first rang the Cerebral Palsy Alliance and they were amazing. From the very first phone call and every one since. CPA empowers people with cerebral palsy and other disabilities to live rich and fulfilling lives. For over 70 years, we've been supporting people with cerebral palsy and their families every step of the way. From humble beginnings in a Sydney suburb in 1945, CPA today supports over 5,000 Australians with disability across 112 locations. Through investing in research, technology and advocacy, our work reaches millions around the world, improving lives every day and advancing the outlook for future generations. At the heart of what we do is our desire to see every person living with a disability reach their full potential and to support them and their families at every stage. Early intervention is critical. That's why CPA is committed to ensuring that we diagnose and treat infants as soon as possible. In Australia, around 700 children are born with cerebral palsy each year. It is the most common physical disability of childhood and it lasts a lifetime. In the past, we could really only diagnose cerebral palsy before the age of six months in a very small group of infants. That meant that they missed the period of maximal brain growth. And now, with the early diagnostic clinic that we have and techniques that we're rolling out around the country, we're now able to diagnose cerebral palsy as early as three months of age. This tremendous advance will help to significantly reduce the severity of disability that children with cerebral palsy live with. Aaron being diagnosed so early meant that he could be picked up for physiotherapy, occupational therapy, speech pathology, and he could get the best start. Aaron is the perfect example of early intervention. He walks, talks, eats, does everything every other typically developing child does. CPA offers a range of supports for people living with cerebral palsy at every stage of life. Programs like Habitiel, a two-week intensive therapy program for young kids that's clinically proven to help children become super learners. Aaron loves Habitiel. It was unbelievable the difference in Aaron from the beginning of Habitiel to the end. The first day that he was going for the second session, he was so excited and he said, I'm off to see my family, which for me was hard, but I can understand for him why he thinks of that as his family, because he gets to spend time with other children who have the same disabilities as he, but, but also can see what their abilities are and what they can do and that he can do it too. And now walks up our own front stairs just holding one hand on that rail. For teenagers and young adults, CPA runs life labs and other programs to help them develop the skills and the confidence they need for the future. We also help young people build social connections and develop their independence. We support young people with disability to find a job that's right for them and to stay in shape physically through accessible gyms and fitness programs. For adults, we help with assistive technology, home modification, supported employment, supported accommodation and day programs designed to improve skills, stay well and meet friends. For over a decade, the CPA Research Foundation has driven breakthroughs in the prevention, treatment and hopeful cure of cerebral palsy, helping to rewrite the future for 17 million people worldwide. We support the world's brightest and best researchers, and together we've made some incredible breakthroughs. Just 10 years ago, it was assumed that most cases of cerebral palsy were neither preventable nor curable and most treatments and interventions were limited 
that's all changed. When we started the Research Foundation, the rate of cerebral palsy was 1 in 400. In recent years, it's dropped to 1 in 500. More people with a cerebral palsy in Australia are able to walk, they're less likely to have intellectual disability, and they are less likely to have epilepsy. That's a huge breakthrough. With the help and the support of the Cerebral Palsy Alliance, I'm absolutely certain that Aaron will do everything in this life that he wants to do. Our goals for Aaron are to be as independent as he possibly can. And from the very first session that we had with the Cerebral Palsy Alliance, they have worked with us and constantly ask us. And eventually, as Aaron gets older, I'm absolutely certain that they will ask Aaron what his goals are and will help him achieve those. But we can't do it without you. So get involved today. Partner with us, donate, fundraise. With your support, CPA can continue to empower people today and transform the lives of future generations.